Hey, ya, Ivy. Hey, I've seen you around. Nice to officially meet. Do you like being randomly attacked? Not at all. I enjoyed every darn second of Katie Crown playing Ivy Sundu and Amphibia because I knew Matt Brawley made that whole show after Storks. And it's also very nice how he gives Storks a subtle shout out by giving his Chuck character the catchphrase, I grow tulips. Mom, uh, you wanted everything you want to say to the, the camera about Katie Crown? I thought she did a good job in Storks. Um, and Amphibia? And Amphibia, yeah. And I'm glad she got to do those roles and uh, helped, helped with her career. Are you surprised at her for making it this far? No, no. I'm, I'm glad she made this far. I am too. I mean, having Katie Crown around in Amphibia after Storks sort of feels like having Karen Fukuhara and Craig of the Creek and Keep in Age of Wonder Beast after Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. What do you think of that, Mom? Uh, that, that's cool. I think it's cool too. Yeah. Your hair is pretty. I know. And, and it's also nice that Karen Fukuhara got a Star Meter Award for the boys before her thirtieth birthday. Yeah. If more movies follow Stork's example the way the Sonic movie 2 did, then I truly believe that if the main voice actors of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie, or the Rugrats movie, or the Simpsons movie, or the Powerpuff Girls movie, or the Wild Thornberries movie, or the My Little Pony movie want to seek any new uh, big roles in, in uh, other theatrical films, live action or animated, then they should definitely do that and follow Kitty Crown's example, especially because Kitty Crown, I'm sure Kitty Crown could use her connections with Storks to help any other, to help any other main cast member of Amphibia get to a big movie role in live action or animation if they want. I mean, sure, Brenda's song, uh, Anna Khan and Haley Zhu are already known for playing live action credits, but I'm sure if they could seek other, out other new animated film roles or even live action film roles, they'd love to have a very big role like Katie Crown already had in Storks. I'm rooting for you, Justin Felbinger. I, I also hope that Sprig Planter can one day soon have his voice actor snag a, a miraculous lead role in an animated film, a miraculous opportunity like Ivy Sundu's actor got to do in Storks three years before Amphibia. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Storks won a truly moving picture award from Heartland Film. And Brian, Brian Truitt from USA Today, he's the one who said Storks delivers for all ages. That is exactly why I believe Warner Brothers Animation, the Warner Animation Group, should really make more animated films like this more often. I, I'd love to see Warner Brothers Animation... I want to see the Warner Animation Group make more movies that aren't related to Looney Tunes or DC Super Pets or the Lego, mo or the Lego movies. I mean... It's kind of obvious with the Lego Ninjago short that the, the Lego that the Lego movie franchise was already eclipsing the possible popularity of Storks in the five year period that that's what which made Storks a victim of unfortunate circumstance, the five year period between the Lego movie and the Lego movie two, second part. And you know, some voice actors from SpongeBob have also had other live have or the Simpsons have also had other great live action roles in other productions like I know Thomas F. Wilson I know Thomas F. Wilson from the Back to Future Trilogy Clancy Brown has had a lot of great roles in movies such as Starship Troopers The Pathfinder and yes even the Shawshank Redemption of all films so if it's possible for them it's definitely possible for everyone else in the main cast of Spongebob Squarepants The Simpsons Rugrats The Wild Thornberries or Bob's Burgers to audition for main characters in animated movies and work with other celebrity voice actors who are more famous than they are and get the same experience that Ivy Sundu had playing Tulip and Storks. That's why I want to see an animated film soon with with Sprig Planner's Justin Felbinger playing the lead boy, especially after he got famous for his Sprig Planner character wearing a coronavirus mask in season three of Amphibia when he didn't need to. <laughs> hey, Stog. Hey, Stog. Well, that's all I gotta say about Storks for now, and Amphibia for now. Mom, do you think, do you also agree with me that voice actors can be just as marketable names as the, as, uh, celebrities known for on-camera work who are more famous than they are? They can get known, it's, uh, like Tara Strong. It's, hard, it's easier as a live actor. Oh yeah, because she's been in Teen Titans to go to the movies, the, the Rugrats movie, the Powerpuff Girls movie, and the Friendship is Magic movie, didn't you, if you would. Yeah, it's easier if they're all... 
It's either as a live actor or if you're also known as a live actor. Well, that's, that's exactly the point. When Back to the Future cast a lot of people who are known for playing main characters in TV shows, Back to the Future was the most successful movie of, of 1985 because it found a way to combine the viewership numbers of other live action TV shows that happened to star Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Wendy Jo Sperber, George DeCenzo, and Francis Lee McCain. So, any animated film that wants to cast voice actors to play the lead roles like Storks just did with Kitty Crown can certainly follow the same casting and marketing strategy in the, in the animated equivalent of that. That's why, if I could, I would make an animated film where I could let Tara Strong play the lead role, or better yet, Ashley Ball, who managed to play lead roles in Frenchman's Magic and Little's Pet Shop before she was 30 years old. I'm sure she was very proud of having both of those Hasbro series going for her before she turned 30. And Ashley Ball has a very cool, energetic voice in a different way than Katie Crown that would uh, certainly makes her A-list material for me to want to cast her to play the lead in at least three animated movies that I write in the near future. So what do you say, Mom? Do you think, you think it's possible for for the main voice actors of the Powerpuff Girls or Friendship is Magic or SpongeBob SquarePants or The Simpsons to have big roles in other animated films if I help them get there or do it on their own if they seek out other live action credits like Clancy Brown oh. and Thomas F. Wilson have done? It's certainly possible, yeah. Glad to hear it. Thank you for watching this video until the end. And an extra thank you if you subscribe to my channel because of this video, because you like Storks or Katie Crown or Total Drama Island or Amphibia or Bob's Burgers. Rope on my tongue! Okay, Grom Fest starts in 12 weeks and 3 days, and I am so going to make it. If this baby finds her family, then maybe I can find mine. Oh, is that a present for me? Yes it is! Brian made it! See you later, Sprig! But you won't see me.